Good afternoon, my dear friends in Christ. We are still here in this very simple meditation, still in connection with our Mayflower devotion in honor of our Blessed Virgin Mary. I am Nicolo Palencia, and today our topic is Mary as a Tabernacle of Love. Mary as a Tabernacle of God. God is love. Deus caritas est. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, we should grow in love. We should grow in the love of Jesus and Mary. So, like Mary, we can also become tabernacles of love. In fact, we are temples of the Holy Spirit. So, my friends, Jesus was in the shelter of Mary. Mary knows that the baby is not only going to become her son, but it is the Lord Himself. It is the Lord Himself. And my dear friends like Mary, do you have Jesus in you? Do you bring Jesus to others or you bring yourself to others? Mary as a tabernacle of God Himself conscious of it we could say that she is so much happy carrying our Lord so tayo rin mga kapatid we could carry our Lord that the face of God could be seen in ourselves and together let us see God in the face of those who are suffering let us see the face of God in others so we also, my dear friends, we can give birth to Jesus like Mary. We can give birth to Jesus spiritually. No? So that is why we can give Him to others. If we want to live a holy life, we need to refocus ourselves to Jesus through Mary. And like St. John Paul II, we can say, Totus Totus, totally yours. So now another question. Who is the center of your heart? Because my dear friends, the center of your heart attracts the one who desires it. Like Mary, if Jesus is the center of your life, you will attract love to be given to others. Love, my dear friends, is diffusive in itself. Nakakahawa po ang pag-ibig. Kaya kung pag-ibig po ang nasa puso natin, pag-ibig din ang maibibigay natin. Agree? So, my dear friends, always fix the eyes of your heart to Mary. Why? Because she knows how to love Jesus and glorify God all the more. So yun lang po my dear friends for today. I hope you have learned something and always remember to be inspired. Be an inspiration to others always. So may the good Lord bless you. Hello everyone, I would like to thank you for watching, most especially the parishioners of St. Jude Tadeus Parish through Reverend Father Raymond Ceprian Mazo. Thank you very much and shout out po dyan sa mga youth ng St. Jude Tadeus Parish. And a special mention po kay Lance Metran na nag-edit ng video na to. You can catch him in YouTube. Please search Freelance TV. Thank you and may the good Lord bless you.